Thank you. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> mm. Mm. Can you hear? Um, yeah, you can hear. I can't hear anything back, but I suppose I don't need to. It's something. There, there is, I'm having a technical glitch. So thank you, Kim, for being here. So you had no, I had no sound. So just leaving for work, that's better. Good, you can hear. At least that's something. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's good now. Thanks, Joe. Lovely to have you here. And, and thank you for your patience. Uh, let's go across to the cards now. Uh, I'm Ros Boundy, Psychic Medium, bringing you the Daily Letterman card spread reading. For so here we go. Don't let anyone rustle your feathers, which is exactly being put into action right now. So isn't that synchronicity? <laughs> so absolutely synchronous. And we have the fairy tale card deck that we're using. That's this one. And I'll just place that to the side. We may see that again. Here's the cute little guidebook that I'll be using because there is a couple of these new newer cards that I don't know if we've read the fairy tales behind these ones. And it is the key, the lady, the coffin and the gentleman as our fan spread for this morning. So as always, they're a lovely spread because they will always... Um, bring together something that we are receiving from our spirit guides, our angels, our whatever, even just, um, you know, even if it's only just one little message for the day, we can always gain something from this. So with the key, and remember that with the fan spread, this is the main story stick that holds those fins that are the fan okay so it's around the gentleman there's going to be a <laughs> the dog start to bark something's going past so there is going to be a gentleman who features today at some point so what we're going to read first is the key that's associated with the key, key with the eight of diamonds oh good morning to Kay Morning, Ros and all. Love those emojis. And we've got Caitlin. Good morning, Caitlin. And McKay, and uh, Kay saying hi to Michaela. So there we go. A lovely little family, isn't it? So here we go to find the lily, the, not the lilies, that's the one I've just turned over, which is before 33, the key, 33. So what the keywords are is what's needed, what's important, necessity and revelation. In the Swedish tale of the castle that stood on golden posts, never read it, never heard of it, a key plays a significant role. A young person must... <laughs> I'm getting all sorts of technical issues, including a dog in the background, really barking well because someone's walking to work. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I hope you can hear above the dog barking. So the key in this story plays a significant role. A young person must enter a castle but has no key. Several creatures band together to form a key so that he can reveal the treasures of the castle. When the key shows up, pay attention to what it is pointing at. It can be an indication of something necessary or important to your success. It can open up what needs to be revealed. What is behind the key may remain locked and inaccessible for now. So these can be thought of as traps to be avoided or things to let go of. Look for the nearest cards to see what's most urgent in your reading. The key points out what you will need most to succeed in your current question. So with this, it is the cards all of them pretty much in this top one it's supporting that so something is going to be revealed or left locked it just depends which ones are pointing to that's more relevant for a grunt to blow and which end is the pointy end oh, i suppose it's this one and it would be pointing down this way if you're in a grunt to blow so here we are uh, with the key supporting whatever is opening up or potentially there and revealed of the gentleman is what I suspect, what I'm feeling for this. Now, as far as the lady, and this one is the Cinderella one, it's go oh, cinders. 
we will read the keywords there's not much in the gender cards really for this it doesn't follow a particular fairy tale at all but the keywords are lady woman female influence female partner soulmate one of those so and here we have them both above you know she's above the the gentleman the man so there are two versions of the lady this one we have the peasant and uh, we can choose between the princess or the peasant because there is the two ladies in this deck as you like the lady is the quintessential feminine figure of the fairy land of fairy tales of the land of fairy tales princess needs her love match in all the classic tales she's the one who makes the hero yearn to be better so feminist leanings aside the lady represents the feminine side of life here your princess wears a gown featuring purple one of the colors this one is the peasant so uh if the if the, in the peasant lady we feature cinderella most of us know the story of cinderella so remember that no matter if a lady is the servant or the princess her role is of, in the tale is important her presence in the Lenneman deck straightforward. If your question's for a woman, card's for a woman. So that's what this means. And now we're going to move to the coffin at number eight. And this is bringing to us the keywords of ending, death, transformation, sad times. From Snow White, the Brothers Grimm version, we see her coffin draped for mourning. The coffin card's about death. And when you see this card, remember that Snow White's youthful life with the dwarves stopped here. Her new adult life would begin when she's awakened by the prince. There was a great deal of sadness when her seven companions found Snow White dead. They placed her in the glass coffin so that they could mourn her while they still see her beautiful face. <sighs> the prince's cloak drapes the coffin because his love alone can revive Snow White. When she awakens, she's been transformed into a princess. Never forget that old ways must end before change and progress occur. Here is the transformation. So where the coffin appears in your spread indicates something coming to an end, and it can be an actual death, but this card also suggests the idea of letting things go. A good question for this card is what changes need to happen in your life? Look for where you can best affect that needed change. And this, these three, in the way that it's that soft feminine energy in the centre of these, that transformation that occurred for Cinderella, the transformation that occurs for Sleeping Beauty. And the key is that there is that connection with the gentleman. Is it to do with finding a soulmate for those who are looking? Is it to do with just being able to stand up and be stronger and bring in that that is the more masculine energy and the strength that that um, can, you know, signify as far as standing your ground, as far as being assertive, as far as being able to do what you set your mind to. Not to say that women can't either, but it's a, it is a different energetic in this between the lady and the gentleman. So with the gentleman card, it can be prince or peasant. What we have here is perfectly matched. We've got the keywords of home, soulmate, man of importance, male partner, masculine influences, which I've already mentioned. So there are two versions, again, of the gentleman. And this, <laughs> Caitlin, hello, puppies. Yes, you can hear you fine. Oh, good. I oh, just putting that up because I thought before I get right into this in the summary, absolutely, yes. Um, I'll put the comments up, of course. There are two versions of the gentleman. It's because many fairy tales often have the peasant becoming a prince or vice versa. So the peasant shows up as the hero in the peasant, the buffalo and the tiger. That is a specific story, fairy tale I haven't heard, haven't read. This Vietnamese tale shows how a tiger is outwitted by a peasant. The prince is represented by the Spanish tale of the bear prince. Both the gentlemen are archetypes of the before and after transformation that often happens in fairy tales. The peasant defeats his enemy, the tiger, by being smarter than the tiger. While he doesn't become a prince per se, he is celebrated as a hero in his village. 
The bear prince is a prince cursed to wear another face until he can be loved in both his beast and his prince form. The key focus for this card, whether it be the prince or the peasant who shows up, is to remember that masculine influences are at hand. And that's entirely what is happening here. There is that feminine masculine influence as the transformation occurs through our day to day. So be mindful of what types of things you are bringing to the table in your life experiences that are going to continue transforming throughout the day, whether it be you internally, personally at that really deep level or is it something that's transforming around your experiences and environment today and the experiences of that environment? Do you need to be changing your perspective around something that's occurring so that you can understand it better and live it in that present moment with that better understanding? So that's where I'm feeling that this is happening in our day to day with those cards. You do have control of that key up to a certain point. It's showing us that there is going to be an opening or a coming soon <laughs> type of thing with that key. Uh, sometimes we are not the ones in control of it, but things are going to transform in one form or another. So thank you so much for being patient. <laughs> for this morning and I shall pick up the recording of this and put it in the other places of where I haven't been able to do that with my ecam this morning uh, or I may do a second sitting a <laughs> second trans you know transmission whatever <sighs> it just depends if I can get the other technical issue sorted so just keep being and this is where transformation can happen on the hop too it's finding different ways to work around stuff that isn't working first time. Going to try it the same way exactly to get the same result? No, we are going to change it up a little bit, even if it's just that minutest of techniques we use or, you know, changing the perspective or whatever it is we see it as and we may have misunderstood and now we're going to be understanding a lot better. You know, take... Take the flow of what you're receiving in the way it fits the context of your life, okay? And be the best you that you can be. Until tomorrow again, <laughs> it will be a namaste. <laughs> Got some more messages. Hang on a sec. There's a thank you from Caitlin. Ah, hi, Sharon. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, in, just finishing. So you might need to watch the replay if you so desire. And good morning to Anne. Lovely to see you too. <laughs> Uh, we'll catch you all tomorrow. Thank you and namaste. Bye.